Apple's iWatch seems to be landing on some manufacturing trouble. The Nokia Lumia icon gets confirmed killing years of some crazy model numbers. And Intel's new plan to help you dual boot Windows and Android is on its works. I'm Jaime Rivera, and can you imagine a bottle of beer that could dual boot into a cup of coffee the next day? Wishful thinking, but this is Spock Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Microsoft has just published this official statement at Neo in claiming that Windows Phone has outsold the iPhone in at least 24 markets, which is great. It's great to see that the platform is growing, but the problem is that once you start digging into which markets these are, you get to see that these are all emerging markets where obviously the iPhone is 10 times more expensive than the Nokia Lumia 520 or 521. Again, it's great to see that the platform is growing. It's just something that is not really as big as they make it seem. And speaking of Windows Phone, Verizon has just spilled the beans on the Nokia Lumia icon. And yeah, this is pretty much the first phone that I remember that has a name and not a number, which is great. It's great to see evolution, at least the naming. We're not sure why this is happening. This is pretty much the Nokia Lumia 929 that was rumored recently, which is pretty much a 1520 only for Verizon. A couple of changes there, but it's a great phone. Stay tuned as we are expecting for the official announcement, you know. Now, a company that's been struggling pretty much for over a year is Ubuntu. We filmed our hands-on at CES 2013, and it's 2014, CES is over, and uh, we still don't get any phones running Ubuntu, which was the promise. Canonical just came on a Google Hangout to tell everybody to not worry. They are actually bringing Ubuntu on a lot of phones from a certain OEM that they're not specifying. So hopefully we will be getting this because it is a really cool operating system and we want some competition. And another company that seems to be struggling with building something is Apple, as we get more rumors that they're struggling with the iWatch, this time because of leadership, because of production problems with the battery, with the display. Uh, apparently, they're landing a lot of issues up to the point where Apple has actually changed the whole leadership team from this project and adding some other people in order to get this happening. We're still not sure what to expect. We already got the new Gorilla Glass for watches and everything. So this is something that we are expecting to happen very soon. We just don't know exactly when. Stay tuned for that. And finally, for the hot news of the day, even though Intel has had a lot of trouble trying to make some relevance in the mobile market, they've just shown us their strategy on how they're planning to do it. They showed us this ASUS tablet that's actually running Windows and Android, and they showed how that thing can dual boot between operating systems in four seconds, which is actually awesome. It is really, really good. It's probably the future. They're planning to make their mobile processors in the future compatible with both operating systems, and that's the strategy, which is great. We just hope that they make that free as well as Android is free. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would Windows tablets be more appealing to you, or Android tablets for that matter, if they ran Windows or Android the other way around? Uh, leave us a comment down below. In my particular case, if they priced them right, because again, Android is free, and they gave me the option, why not? I'd love the option for that. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.